I'm Richard Carmichael and I'm here today to update you on the North Tyneside Council Coast Road Improvement Scheme. Phase 1 of the project at Beach Road and Phase 2 of the project at the former Billy Mill Roundabout were both completed on time and on budget. The final phase of the scheme is to reconstruct Norham Row Bridge. The bridge is more than 50 years old and in urgent need of attention. When finished, there will be improvements for road users, cyclists and pedestrians. The project will be undertaken by Syslagen, a joint venture who are currently delivering the A19 Silverlink Improvement Scheme on behalf of Highways England. We have some important information about how the scheme will be delivered to share with you. A number of options have been considered, include cutting the bridge and delivering it in two halves. This would have allowed for temporary traffic flow over the bridge, albeit with four-way traffic light system in place. Instead, it will now be demolished and reconstructed in one operation. So why is it being done this way? Building the bridge in one operation is far simpler and safer than doing it in two phases. There's less that can go wrong. We know that people want us to complete the road improvements as quickly as possible and the construction of the bridge in one go will enable us to deliver the scheme two months faster than if it had been delivered in two halves. Our traffic modelling also shows that four-way temporary traffic lights on the bridge operating at all times would cause significant congestion in the local area. So what does this mean to those who would normally use the bridge? Pedestrians and cyclists will be able to cross the bridge as a footpath will be maintained at all times. Bus passengers who use services 310 and W3 will experience some diversions to their normal bus routes. With the bridge closed to traffic until spring 2018, drivers will be diverted, but these diversions will be quicker than the delays that would have been experienced if four-way traffic signals were erected on the bridge. Northbound vehicles will be diverted west to the Silverlink roundabout to turn around back onto the coast road. Southbound vehicles will be diverted east to Billy Mill, right into Regent Terrace and around the Regency Gardens roundabout back onto the coast road. The slip road junctions will be altered with priority given to through traffic. This will allow unopposed turning from the slip roads onto Norham Road. We apologise for the inconvenience caused to some road users, residents and businesses and we thank you all for your patience during these works. For further information about the scheme, please visit the Council's website and to keep further updated, please subscribe to our regular e-buttons.